Hi everybody, this is AJ with Car Inspected. Today we are in Scarborough area and we're looking at this 2009 Toyota Corolla. It's got 147,000 kilometers on it. Seems to be in decent shape. I don't detect any major accidents, anything like that. There's a couple little dings and scrapes and imperfections, but overall it's not too shabby. Windows all seem to be original. There is a couple of uh, rust spots here and there starting to come through in some of these trim areas. Uh, I did notice that there's tape holding this mirror together, so it may be, the detent may be broken or something like that. And I said there's a couple of bumps and scrapes on the paint, but it seems to be a stereotypical, decent little commuter car. A couple of bumps and bruises on the back here, a couple of scrapes, you can see those. I did take some pictures of them so you should see them. Deck lid looks pretty good, there's a couple of bubbles of rust starting to come through right above the license plate here. There's also some, throughout the this area here, this back right corner, there seems to be a sap on the paint, probably from some of these trees here. Other than that though, the rest of the car doesn't seem to be too covered in sap. There's a couple spots, but that back corner is the worst of it. Said a couple of little dings in here. The driver's door does have a little bit of a repair on it. In the front area here, probably a small dent or scrape or something like that's been repainted. No major issue, no major damage, but it is there. Uh, the vehicle is running right now. I'm testing the AC, making sure it's getting nice and cold. Sure feels like it, so I think we're good there. Yep, nice and cold. We'll have it off for the rest of the video. Windshield has been replaced at some point. It is an aftermarket unit. A couple of scrapes on the probably from uh, removing it or cleaning snow, but otherwise the windshield seems to be in good condition. Wheels, tires seem to be okay. These are 2016's uh, Max Tour tires. They seem to have pretty even tread wear, about 6.30 seconds left, not too shabby. Uh, front brakes, Rotors have been painted. There's a bit of a lip on them, and uh, it's hard to see the pads. Uh, I got a better photo, but it's hard to see here. They are, I'd say there's about 45 to 50% left on them. Underneath in this corner, everything seems to be pretty good. Some surface rust, things like that. A couple of areas of a little crusty, I'll show you in a second. Probably see better photos, but nothing too major. But it is showing it's uh, showing some 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 spots. There's no major leaks or anything like that. Everything looks pretty clean and dry. It's good. Oh, this here is cracked. This front of the bumper cover here. And there's your typical bugs and highway stuff on the nose here. Right front tire is similar to the other side, about 6.30 seconds of tread, and a 2016. So it looks pretty decent. Brakes are the same situation as the other side, about 50% or so left. This is a little spot here, some rust forming. This is the passenger side. A little bit of surface stuff back here. Nothing major, but like I said, there is a little bit there. The door bottoms, uh, oh, let's do these back tires first. These are also 2016s. And this one is, uh, this was 7.30 seconds, 8.30 seconds. So this one's a little bit newer. Undercarriage looks okay. A little bit of surface rust that has been painted under here. You can see, again, I don't see anything too major though. 
kind of typical of a vehicle of this age. Last tire, it's 2016 again, so all the tires do match. And about uh, 7 to 8, 30 seconds back here. So as I was starting to say, the door bottoms all have, three of them have a little bit of rust starting underneath here, some there. The other ones are similar, you'll see in the photos. The driver's door is the worst, as it is starting to bubble and pull apart. While we're here, we'll look at the interior. This is the driver's door panel. Seems to be in pretty good condition with no major issues. Carpet and seat is all pretty nice. Major stains or rips or anything like that. Let's take the key out so it's not annoying. Dashboard looks good. No major wear and tear on the steering wheel or anything like that. All looks pretty decent. Center console looks good. Radio does work. AC does work, as I said. Here are the rear panels, the doors, carpets, all season mats, carpet underneath looks good, no major issues. As well as the back seat, seat belt's all pretty good. Headliner looks decent, no real problems. Go to the passenger side. We'll pop that trunk, I'll get the remote. And it's similar to the driver's side, no major issues. Looks pretty decent here. Passenger side door, pretty clean. Switches, anything, nothing's broken in the interior. All looks pretty good. Pretty durable interior on these Corollas. Couple of kick scrapes in here, but nothing too major. I don't see the owner's manual, but here is a lock for the wheel. And this one as well works just fine. So this all looks okay, works fine. Take a look under the hood real quick. I did run a computer diagnostics. There are a couple of codes present, which I will highlight in the report. Nothing too major, but there are a couple that should be looked at. So here we go, under the hood. All looks pretty decent, nothing major. I don't see any leaks or major, a little bit of rust on these, on this cross member here. As you can see right there. But belts, hoses, all that stuff looks good. I don't see leak, leaky water pumps or anything like that. Um, under this cover, looks pretty decent. Are a couple of numbers here. Somebody possibly uh, did some service at these intervals or something. But there is this, this not wetness, but uh, stainage probably from oils, oil changes. Other than that, I don't see anything that's caused a big concern. I tested your oil. It looks good. It's nice and clean. Uh, under here looks clean as well. No gunk or anything or milkiness or anything like that. So it all looks pretty good. They also tested your coolant, which was good to negative 43 and is nice and clean. So you have no issues there. Battery looks pretty new. It was sitting at 12.6 and charging at 14.8. Six or eight, somewhere close there. Look pretty good. Uh, brake fluid under here was at 2% humidity, which is not a problem. It is good to go. At 4% we would have an issue, but 2% is kind of normal for the age. Other than that, looks pretty decent. So there you have it. We're going to take it for a very short ride just around the neighborhood. Make sure it shifts and 
stops and does all the things it should. Other than that, there you have it. Thanks for watching. My name is AJ with Car Inspected, and we'll see you next time.